What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, uh, sorry. Uh, if you if you got the notification for now, I normally go live uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, I've just had a, just a lot of crap going on outside. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I, I feel terrible for not streaming, especially when the market just sold off, tanked, like it was just red, then earnings came out, it was more red. And uh, it, it, just to openly say it, it actually annoys the crap out of me. Like, that irks my soul. When I see other YouTubers do that or other coaches, you know, all of a sudden it's red and that's just coincidentally when you're not feeling good or something breaks. You know, it's always something on the red days. Uh, those are the days I like to actually be more active, be a coach, you know, guide through any kind of storm, I, I guess, if you will. Some people are just short and they're having a heyday, uh, you know. Um, anyway, I'm sorry for that. Sorry for the stream this week. I just wanted to go over real quick how I played Google, why I was bullish Google, why I didn't lose any money when it sold off, uh, and maybe you guys can uh, take advantage of that in the future. I've gone over this video before a couple times. It's more of like a, uh, I think I call it like a PDT hack last time I did it because this is not a day trade. For those of you guys that are under PDT, uh, this is something you can do all the time. Uh, so what I did was I bought Google calls. Now, total end up having eight of these. Uh, but if you see what I did before Google sold off, before we even had a red day. Give me two seconds. Let me log into Oh TOS have ever lets me installing updates. Yeah, I know I have the loudest keyboard ever. I'm gonna pull up the options chain. But if you look right here. I bought, uh, so the May 6th, that's my expiration date, strike 2450. Uh, now, I did this collectively uh, in my trade station account, and this is my E-Trade account. So that's what you're seeing here. So my fill, $8,950. $8,950. How much does this one contract cost? So I paid $8,950. For those of you guys that are new to options, it's $89 you know, per share, so 100 shares per contract times 100. Uh, I promise the math should check out. If it doesn't, the calculator is broken. Uh, so what Google did was it pushed up. Now, the, the further the strike out, the cheaper the contract is. So at the time of purchasing this, this was a few hundred bucks. Sorry, this contract, the 2460 was actually cheaper. So at the time of buying this 2450, I could spend 8,900 or I could spend, it was probably somewhere close to around 8,500. Uh, and I could get the 2460, $10 further out of the money, but Google pushed up. So as it pushed up, instead of locking in profits on this, right? I could have sold this. This was up. This wasn't eight thousand anymore. This was well into. This was probably close to ten thousand uh, dollars. You know, yeah, it should be around there. But instead of doing that, I decided to go for that cherry on top. I sold the twenty-four sixty and collected nine thousand four hundred and eighty. Now they'll move in tandem. I am now theta and vega neutral on these. Uh, for the most part, for the position I'm in now, yeah, because as they burn off, you know, I'm um, positive theta here, negative theta here, they'll move. Uh, so, you know, as Google pulls back, you know, I will be collecting money on this uh, as profits go away from this. Uh, so now what that is, is a spread. Now, if I were to actually go buy this spread outright, I could do it right now, I could spend $500. About, um, in in out spread is typical rule of thumb, ten dollar spread. You want to spend five bucks on it, so it cost you five hundred bucks. The max you can gain is a thousand dollars. So had I been right, I could have closed this out for a thousand dollars. So while locking in profits, I kept some room on the table for a cherry on top. I wanted to play Google earnings. I wanted to be long, but man, there's just risk in the market. You know, it, it's just not worth it. Uh, and and obviously my feelings were right because Google tanked. Uh, so let me just bring this over real quick. All right, so Google, obviously those are crap now. Uh, but here's, so 23, so 2310, okay, 2350, go up 10 more dollars. Uh, so about a $400 difference. Uh, so that that's what those were. Now, again, if I'm buying this, I'd spend about 500 bucks, max gain, 1,000. We're going to be right there. Max, I could sell it for is 1,000, so, you know, 500. Sell for 1,000, less than I paid for it. Total 500 profit. If that doesn't make sense, I, I don't really sell this. I, I have a course. I have a whole mentorship. It's the teachable link down below. Uh, if you get that, it's the options course. I, I go over all of this stuff in there. You should know it in depth to the T, what you're getting into and, and the risks associated with it. 
Uh, but so let's round up. I paid nine grand. I sold this for ninety five hundred. I now got paid five hundred dollars to be in a ten dollar, a thousand dollar spread bullish on Google. So Google tanked. What do I have? I have the spread. Now this spread actually was only worth a couple hundred bucks today. Uh, so I got paid five hundred bucks, sold it for a couple hundred bucks. So I was set up to win regardless. I was going to win what I already had, or I was going to win a little bit more. Uh, and like I said, I had eight of them. Uh, so fortunately, it did go to the downside. Sorry, I just had to turn my computer on. Let's get to charts. Get the crap out of here. Obviously, uh, the S&P just went zone to zone. We bounced. Choppy day. Sucked. Um, Google off a cliff. Yeah. So holding right here. Now inside these moves, it's pushing up. It's pulling back. That's where I'm taking advantage. I'm just locking in these trades. Uh, and then, boom. Right off the top. Uh, now, the only other play I did make was, since Google and Facebook do work together, I did, I told you guys, well, pretty sure I told YouTube, if not, I was you know, live with my mentorship. Uh, I bought 185 puts on Facebook. Now, that panned out. That was actually to hedge my Facebook shares that I have, because as this sold off, Facebook tanked too. I did close those today, um, which actually worked out perfect. Uh, it's in my investment account. It's not, not actively trading. Those were just up, so I locked them. Um... That is a good sight to see. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably have to jump right back in those puts, hitting this weekly zone. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna hop off here. Uh, just wanted to kind of touch base. Sorry, I wasn't streaming yesterday. Uh, I do genuinely feel bad for that. Uh, I wish things were different. Um, careful in these markets. Uh, the buyers are snapping up quick, but a lot of you guys might confuse that with dip buyers. It's probably just shorts covering. Um, no, so be careful. I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Um, anyway, I will see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, if you're watching this live, I will post my mentorship link in my uh, my free Discord chat tomorrow to make up for that. So you guys will get a stream. Thursdays are questions day, so I don't like to break down tickers. It's strategy. No, no, nothing too basic, nothing too advanced. Get it all. That's your day. Strategy talk. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys all tomorrow.